Hi, in marketing we all make mistakes. So much is automated, it's really easy to make mistakes. It's not about whether you make a mistake or don't, but how well you recover. And that's what I want to talk about in today's show. I think it helps us to separate mistakes. There are simple mistakes, things like high first name. Frankly, we've all done it. It's just horribly embarrassing when you do it, awful when you do it for a customer, as we did a couple of months ago. It just feels terrible. We feel so amateurish. Everybody, though, has done it. High first name, simple mistake. That's one category. The second one, then, would be kind of bigger mistakes that actually affect whether people can access something or the information they're using. So you might have miscommunicated a price or the availability or a date. They're things that definitely we need to do something about. Third category are big mistakes, horrid mistakes. Something that we definitely need a deeper and more sincere approach to. And then finally I want to talk about personal mistakes. I'll define each of those as we go through. Okay, let's talk first about small slips. These are the high first name or high F name. We've done it all, but we've all done it before. We certainly have. Um, I'm confident I've done it many times. You may have done it yourself before. How should you respond to that? And the answer is don't. You're tempted, you're embarrassed, you feel like you want to look kind of human and, and accepting of your errors. Frankly, don't communicate. Firstly, if you have an open rate of 20%, which is kind of an average, then 80% of your audience didn't even see it. Of those who had the opportunity to see it, I'll bet only a third even noticed. And of those, I'll bet a half even cared. You're now going to go out to your entire list and re-communicate. That's annoying that you're re-communicating. Two messages that where one would have done. And secondly, you're actually highlighting an error that most people didn't even notice. And thirdly, it actually didn't really matter. People know you're human. Let it go. Second kind of error, though, we do need to respond to. This is where we've miscommunicated. Maybe we've made an offer to only part of our, meant for only part of our market, but we make it to the entire market. And we said, gee, this is only available in this location or for these kind of customers. That's pretty embarrassing because you've now told a group of people about something that they can't have. Or maybe it wasn't so much a geographical issue or a segment issue, rather you just got the facts wrong. This is not the date, it's that. Some other kind of important point. That does matter and it needs to be corrected. To correct it, do three things. Actually, let me say, do four things. Do it quickly. Secondly, apologise. Thirdly, tell them what went wrong. And finally, give them a reason to forgive you. Maybe you're going to give them a little extra discount or a little extra something. Maybe you'll broaden the offer. It's going to be very situational. It's going to kind of depend on the relationship that you have with your market. Whatever the case, give them some reason to forgive you. Third kind of error is a biggie. This is where somebody's done something really, really stupid and really, really impactful. And now we need everything that I said before. It's going to be quick. It's got to be um, apologize, um, explain what went wrong and give them a reason to forgive you. But we need to do some different things. We need to make sure that the change that we're telling our market about is radical and permanent. If you've made a big mistake, make a big correction. For real, not just in words. Radical and permanent. Next point is it needs to come from the CEO, not from marketing, and it needs to be really personal from the CEO. We made an error. Buck stops with me. I am so, so sorry we did that. Here's what we've done to fix it. Here are the actions that we're going to take. And by the way, go above and beyond on the fix. That's just such a different kind of problem and a different response is needed. Don't confuse these. The final one is the personal error. And this is basically where you've offended somebody, perhaps, or you personally have made a mistake. And you've really only affected one person. Go to that one person. Do it face to face if you can. Do it on the phone if you think they'll accept your phone call. I did a blog only a few weeks ago about using video for personal communication. And in that, one of the use cases I gave was a personal apology. 
quickly to tell you that story if you haven't seen the earlier show. The, uh, we, actually, I'll link to that in the show notes, but just in case you haven't heard the, uh, the story, um, uh, we did something wrong and I needed to get that apology to this, this customer really, really quickly and it needed to be heartfelt, genuine, authentic and uh, I decided I couldn't get up there, to, in, he lives in a different state, I couldn't get to see him fast enough. Phone wouldn't have done it because he may have been very guarded in the, in the conversation or, or wanted to unleash to let me know how unhappy he was. I knew he was unhappy. So what I did was produce a video. By whatever method you choose, face to face would be great. On the phone if you can, think of video as an option, but for this third one where it's just, you've only affected one person and it was only really you, be personal, be authentic. I quite like video as a tool. But my point fundamentally is that you need to split these three types of, pardon me, these four types of problem. Little ones, problems that affect, they're problems of fact and they affect multiple people, big problems and personal problems. You need a different response for each. Now in all of that, I spoke only about, I guess, a very normal approach to apologizing or to fixing an error. What I didn't reference there is any opportunity that you have to tie the error back to the problem that you most want to be known for and for whom you most want to be known that. So think about in the apology whether you actually bring in the problem that your, your whole business is focused on solving for them, not the problem you just created, the problem that you solve for them. Let me give you an example. So if perhaps the error was a pretty small one, but we miscommunicated the date of a particular event. Then obviously in the apology, we're going to say, hey, we really care about fixing this problem for our market. In the process of doing that, we screwed up. We did A, B and C. Keep communicating the core problem that you're in the business of solving. And my point is that every piece of communication needs to reinforce that that's what you're in the business of solving. You're amazing at it, you're focused on it, and you know that it matters. And you're reminding them that it matters as well. So tie in any kind of episodic or spontaneous response back to your core. Where is your core kept? And if you've been watching Funnel Vision for a while, you know that I'm gonna make now a pitch for Funnel Plan, and I am. Because every business needs to have categorically clear, sales, marketing, finance, and ops, categorically clear what problem they are in the business of solving and for whom and how. That's your product, the how. The role or the, the, the best way to harness the team's input and to capture those decisions is in your funnel plan. Now, if you have a funnel plan already, you know that it's the problem, market and solution sections of your funnel plan. If you don't have a funnel plan, go get one now. Go to funnelplan.com or if you're watching this on YouTube, there's a little eye on your screen. Depends whether you're watching on a mobile or on, uh, on a computer where that eye sits, but either click on the eye or go to funnelplan.com. Here's the URL, go to funnelplan.com and get yourself a funnel plan. I hope you got value out of this week's show. I've got loads more lined up for you next week. Until then, may your funnel be full and always flowing. Our thanks this week to you for watching this week's show, to Elizabeth Pena for blog production, John Ang for video production, Marketing Land for their collection of funny mistakes. Go check it out. My name's Hugh McFarlane. It's been my absolute pleasure to have scripted and presented this week's show. And by the way, here's a link to that uh, other blog that I referred to about using video for personal communication. Check it out. Quite proud of that one.